Hi guys, today we are here at uh, JTC Launch Pad to find out more about the box. Follow me to find out more. Hi, I'm Erdal, an MAE professor. So as a group, we have invented a new robot. Uh, its name is Quickabot. And with its sensory system and its uh, mobile robot, this robot is able to detect five different of finishing problems in a building. Can you tell us how did this research idea came about? The inspiration behind this invention was twofold. One is the local and the other is global. The local inspiration is the labor-intensive construction sector in Singapore and there are a lot of construction sites in Singapore. So our goal was to automate some tasks in the construction site that we can reduce manpower costs. Can you tell us more about the functions or highlights of this board? In this project, we have designed an automated post-construction quality assessment robotic system to identify five finishing defects. Cracks, hollowness, alignment, inclination, and evenness. It's quite novel and extraordinary robot. We have five components on the robot, a small laser scanner for navigation and mapping, a large laser scanner to inspect the evenness of the alignment of the two walls, an inclinometer to check the evenness of the floor, a thermal camera for the hollowness, and a small standard color camera to detect cracks on the wall and we have one mobile robot for the navigation of the robot that is uh, developed in a collaboration with a startup company in Singapore. Can you tell us more about the key benefits of this Quickabot? There are three key benefits of this robot. First one is since we are uploading our data to cloud, the data is very easy to be accessed. Second one is that uh, because of the sophisticated sensory system and its algorithms, we have a better accuracy when compared to manual inspectors. The third one is we are saving from manpower costs by using our autonomous robot. I understand that there have been trials to test the use of crypto for isolated housing blocks and JTC. How has it been so far? The initial trials were quite impressive for a newly finished building where our media release was organized. We found an alignment defect with the robot and it was not noticed before. Besides Kickerbot, are there any other projects on robotics or automation that you are working on and what are these robots for? We have two industrial projects with ST Engineering under the funding of ST Engineering NTU Corporation Laboratory. Our goal in this project is to develop vision-based control algorithms that a UAV will precisely land on an undefined object with a maximum accuracy. Such algorithms can be used for civilian purposes such as food, water or first aid kit delivery in disaster areas. He was uh, sharing with us on Kickerbot today. What do you see Kickerbot in the market soon? Thank you very much for your time and hope to see you with our new inventions in the future. Thanks.